<laughs> Welcome back to that talk show. Now, Classic Chic Productions brings David Mamet's Glenn Gary at Glenn Ross to Beaumont Studios, but with a twist. It's an all-female cast, and joining us today, we have Christina Wells-Campbell and Marcy Teahouse. Thank you for being here. Thank Thanks you for having us. us. Now, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> You've been good. spending a lot of time together. That's right? actually yeah. we have. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, I play a man in my daily life, for the most part, okay. you know, I try my best. Mm -hmm. What's it like for you two to, to, uh, to play men, and what's, uh, how do you get into that and get ready for it? Different. Um, <laughs> <laughs> very different. Yeah. Uh, putting uh, uh, something there helps. Okay, Ooh. yes. Yeah. Okay. You know, we, we wear socks or some type of something you there. Stuff yeah, it really helps. I mean, All right. especially like, you know, as an actor, costume, wardrobe is so important. It, yes. it informs your character. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so it's like, so you put that there and you, trust me, your femininity kind of goes away yeah. is slightly. Is it like a gym sock or? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, depends on, depends on the character. I prefer dress socks. Okay, dress socks. <laughs> no. hey, classy. I like it. But you also wore some, like a corset too. I was well, reading. No, uh, binders. A, oh, okay. Binders. Oh. I wish they were. No, corsets well, like a, prop yes. you up. So but we want to flatten them down. Okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. So it's just like a big elastic that yeah. goes all the way around. Exactly. Kind of have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you, you kind of shift the girls so you have pecs. Okay. <laughs> you know? okay, okay. I could probably use some of these tips for myself, I okay. think, to well, you man know myself what? up a little talk bit. talk after, I'll help Okay, you perfect. Out. That sounds good. And a little less time in makeup, too, I imagine. Actually, yeah. for me, yeah. What about you? Yeah, because really, you're not doing so much uh, like eyeliner yeah, and eyeshadow, but there's contouring that has to happen. Right. Because contouring, men have shadow, more bones in their mustache, face, you know, right. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, makeup's a lot less. <laughs> yeah. Well, it usually takes me a little more than 30 minutes to get ready. So well, anyway, I can, I can I have help some tips. you with that, too. I have some, we have some <laughs> tips for each other. Okay. Now, uh, if you can tell us a little bit about um, mm -hmm. Classic Chic Productions, and uh, this isn't generally a play that you may be, a, the style that you would do. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, about the production. Yeah, because we think it's really cool that it's about empowering women and, and women yeah. getting together and because, you know. What's yeah, I mean, it, it, it started from a selfish place in, in mm -hmm. that there were plays that I read, like, uh, Othello that I really wanted to play Iago mm -hmm. but that's not a role that's available to me as a woman and right. um, other roles like Salieri and Amadeus and like these really dark kind of roles that that I would just never have an opportunity to do and so it just struck me that well, what if we did all female cast where we would have access to these roles because right. there's more than double the number of roles for men and there's what four times as many mm -hmm actresses as mm -hmm. there are actors mm -hmm. wow. and so we just never get well I don't get it. <laughs> Marcy has she's been working a lot but um, we don't get as much opportunity to practice and when you don't yeah. get that those opportunities you don't you don't get to be as good as you really can be mm -hmm. let's talk about the production mm -hmm. Glengarry Gung Ross it's the 80s mm -hmm. it's about corporate greed mm -hmm. boys clubs mm -hmm. so, so tell people about it yeah, it's a high testosterone kind of very a play. Very misogynistic yeah. kind of deal where it's the 80s and it is um, at the end of kind of the Ponzi scheme of real estate. So things are tight. They weren't like they were in the 60s or 70s. Laws have changed. And so you have um, kind of the old school blue collar salesman bumping up against uh, middle management. This was when MBA started to come into play. So you, you see the beginning and the end at the same time, you know, older versus younger new school versus old school and so it's it's a great piece that like you said yeah. you know I you know I'm a fan of Mamet but I never even considered this play because it's an all-male play and I you know it's my first time ever playing a man and I you know I I find um, I, I was drawn to it because I I'm like what a man mm, okay well let's yeah. let's go for it <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> something, something challenging you know something and there's different. a lot of uh, a lot of strong language as well oh, yeah oh yeah how do you turn that off and on because I struggle with that myself sometimes you're a mom <laughs> yeah <laughs> do you, can you turn that off yeah. when you get home? well uh, yes and no I mean I I turn it down <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. not as often, but yes, there there are more f bombs that are slipping out mm -hmm. of my mouth, and uh, it it takes the taboo away from it because they just use it to, as our director says, grease the wheels of where they're going. Mm -hmm. It's not even that they're thinking about the uh, the f of the f off. They're right. just they're using it to get someplace else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that makes uh, yeah, it makes for a great play, and I've read the reviews. You said mm -hmm. it's going well, but you're not allowed to read the reviews yourself. Well, it just well, doesn't help. Doesn't you help. Know, it yeah. doesn't help. Whether it's good or whether it's yeah. bad, it's just you don't, as an actor, you don't really need to know what other people think. It's not your job. Do you sure. read them after? 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. After I do, you know, and, and I'm not going to say I've been perfect in my career that I've never read them, you know, but I've read them in the past, you know, when I shouldn't have, and I don't like the outcome, how I start thinking about myself or second uh, guessing my choices. It's not about what they think. It's about how true you are being to your character and the work that you're doing, and that's all that should matter, and you just hope when you step on that stage or that set that it translates. There you go. Who cares what the critics are saying? Uh, doesn't really matter. We know it's a great you know. play. <laughs> well, thank you both for being here today. Uh, you can catch Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross at Beaumont Studios until June 27th. For more information, go to classicchic.ca. Stick around. We'll be right back after the break.